Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Yasudian, a consultant dermatologist based in the UK. There has been a recent trend to use natural treatments for various skin conditions. I encourage it, but only if there is a scientific rationale behind it. Acne is a common problem that does not seem to have any natural remedies. Looking through the literature, I found an article from America which suggests that salt lotion may be effective in controlling acne. So let us look at this publication in detail and analyze if we can implement it as a potential treatment for acne. The article was published in the Archives of Dermatology in 1972 and was written by Richard Lenihan Jr. from Willington. During the summer of 1971, he noticed that teenagers living on Cape Cod, which was near the coast, had less evidence of acne compared to those in Adirondacks, which is about 250 to 300 miles inland. Interestingly, both groups were fairly similar. Healthy New England teenagers with good diet, no pressures and enjoying the fun outdoors. Their sport and water activities varied, though both groups were obviously outside a lot. Both areas enjoyed comparable good weather, so ultraviolet light was likely to be equal. So what was the difference? The author proposes that it could be salt. Water dries by evaporation, fresh water dries clean, but salt water leaves a fine film that is characteristically sticky and granular. Many people dislike the feeling of this residual salt deficit and shower it off after swimming in the ocean, but teenagers rarely bother. The salt remains on the face, shoulders and back. Salt dries the skin and hence could help the oily skin often associated with acne. Further, whenever an individual sweats, salt deficit on the skin becomes a solution again, creating a drop of hypertonic saline. This solution could be bacteriostatic. Finally, the residual salt film on the surface may retard oxidative discoloration of sebum to blackheads or comedones. There are similar articles from the past which suggest that salt may be helpful in the treatment of acne. In a review published in the Canadian Medical Journal in 1938, the authors suggest soap, steam, salt and scale as a nightly regime to prevent acne. A more recent study looked at the use of salt with cavitation ultrasound and high-intensity multi-wave LED treatment for various skin conditions. Sea salt was used in the study rather than refined salt. The patients who had acne in the study showed a 72.5% mean reduction of pustules and comedones compared to 36.8% mean reduction in control patients treated with antibiotics alone. This was st statistically highly significant. The degree of improvement increased with each subsequent treatment from day 7 to day 28. The mechanism by which salt works is from anecdotal evidence. It has anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties, though scientific studies backing this is limited. Salt also absorbs excess oil, and as sebum or oily skin is an acne precursor, it may help by drying the skin. It is a natural exfoliant, and this property can be effective for acne as long as it is used properly. The exfoliant properties of magnesium and other salts in the Dead Sea has been proven to be effective in conditions like eczema, where it reduces inflammation. A similar mechanism may be important in acne too. I experienced this myself when I was in Iceland a couple of weeks ago. I had a spot in my jawline and did not have any treatment with me. On the last day, we went to the Blue Lagoon, where we were given a silica mask that contained various minerals, including salt. It was applied for about 10 minutes. Interestingly, within a couple of days of returning, the spot started to resolve without any treatment. Salt solution can have side effects too. This includes dryness and irritation, which can end up exacerbating inflammation and sometimes producing more spots. Using salt as an exfoliant, especially if rubbed aggressively, can lead to over-exfoliation, irritation and micro tears in the skin. How can we implement this in our day-to-day -day life? Lenihan Jr. devised his own aftershave lotion made of concentrated salt water. Its preparation is simple. Boil one-fourth a cup of salt in one to two cups of water. Let it cool, then pour the salt solution into any convenient jar. It needs to be applied like any other aftershave lotion. Leave it on and let it dry. The author mentions that its effect is immediate with a pleasant tingly sensation and subsequent dryness to the skin that may last for a few hours. The cost is minuscule compared to what we get through pharmaceutical companies. The salt solution offers the additional advantage of being non-aromatic and non-allergenic. The one-fourth part salt to one cup 
ratio leaves a faint, almost powdery whiteness of salt, while the one fourth cup to two cup ratio dries invisibly. It can be used daily or a few times a week, depending on the type of skin and how it feels on your skin. There are notes of caution. If you have rough or extra dry skin, an over-the-counter product that contains hydrating ingredients may be advisable to ensure that the skin does not over-dry. Many companies make salt-containing solutions and this is available from online retailers. Sea salt infused face mist can be used once daily rather than using a sea salt as an exfoliant and trying to scrub your acne away. Remember that there is an effective option only if you have oily skin and occasional blemishes. Very inflammatory or cystic acne needs much more potent prescribed treatment under the dermatologist. Avoid using this with retinoic acid or salicylic glycolic acids as it can lead to excessively dry skin. In conclusion, acne remains a frustrating problem. Could salt solution help? It probably deserves a trial in those who prefer natural modalities of treatment. Future randomized studies may help us understand if it is indeed an effective treatment. I hope you found this information helpful. Thank you for listening and bye.